we report at the top of the broadcast, Republicans already appear to be coalescing around a replacement for Congresswoman Liz Cheney as the number three Republican in the House. Earlier this week, her Gary Tuckman traveled to House Republican leader Kevin McCarthy's district to find out what his voters thought about the congressman and the issue dividing the party, the lies told by the former president about the election. Basically, most had few problems with how McCarthy was handling the matter. Gary's now visiting Liz Cheney's home district and asking the same questions. The splendor of Wyoming is plentiful. The number of residents is not. And that's why Wyoming only has one seat in the U.S. House of Representatives. So Liz Cheney represents every person in the state, like her or not. Liz Cheney has proved herself to be a lousy representative of the voice of Wyoming. And we spoke with a lot who are saying not. Here's what Liz Cheney wrote. The Republican Party is at a turning point. History is watching. Whose side are you on, Liz Cheney or Donald Trump's? Donald Trump. If she runs again, I will vote for her opponent. Madam Speaker. Conservative groups rank Liz Cheney more politically conservative than Donald Trump. And she has a lifelong Republican pedigree with a father who served as vice president. A national anti-Trump Republican group has put up this billboard near the state capital of Cheyenne, thanking Liz Cheney for, quote, defending the Constitution. But it all matters little to many in this very red state who consider their Wyoming representative a turncoat and their ex-president from New York City a hero. I think she needs to go. How come? Um, just because I don't think she did the right thing uh, for the Republican Party. Well, she says that Donald Trump is lying about the election being stolen. I agree. Agree with what? I agree that the election was stolen. Okay. There's no evidence of it. Well, right. eventually it might come out. In this dispute, do you think Liz Cheney has the right to be angry with Donald Trump? No. Why? Because I don't think he's wrong. But the, do you think the election was stolen? I think it's possible, yeah. John Curtis remains upset Representative Cheney voted to impeach yes. Trump. I read in the paper that she said she had to vote her conscience. Okay, uh, maybe she's forgotten why she's there. Her conscience isn't why she was elected. She's supposed to be representing the people of Wyoming. But there are plenty of people we've met here who very much like Liz Cheney's conscience. I just think um, she doesn't divide her thoughts along political lines. She speaks her truth, and I appreciate somebody with that type of integrity. Absolutely no doubt in my mind that Liz Cheney has the right answers and Donald Trump has the wrong answers. Van Melblum is 95 years old and one of the relatively rare Wyoming Democrats. But she admires Cheney. Because she stands for truth and at least, and a better Republican Party. And we do have to have two parties. Thank you, Mark. The Wyoming Republican Party voted in February to censure Liz Cheney. And here in the state's largest county of Laramie, the county Republican Party also voted to censure her. But that vote was nowhere near being unanimous. Do you find this discouraging, this dispute? Yeah, I do. Kylie Taylor is the vice chairwoman of the Laramie County Republicans. She was elected to her post in March, so didn't participate in the censure vote. She stresses the following is her personal opinion. I think that you got to respect Cheney, and she's not, she's, she's telling her truth and what she believes to be true. She's not backing down. She's not going out quiet, and I think... For myself as a woman in politics and watching her as a woman in politics, it's something that I respect. Um, so does that mean you do not respect what Donald Trump is trying to do to her? Um, yeah, I guess you could say that. And Gary Tuckman joins us now. Are there any indications that Congresswoman Cheney may be in danger of losing her seat in Congress over this? Well, Anderson, Liz Cheney certainly is in political peril, but there's no reliable nonpartisan polling taking place here in the state. We can't tell you a couple of numbers, though. In the 2020 Republican primary, she received 74 percent of the vote. And you could bet big money that won't be happening this time around. However, speaking of money, she's raised more than $1.5 million in the first quarter of this year, which is more than she's raised in any quarter in the four plus years she's been in Congress. And finally, this fact, four Republicans have said they want to run against her in 2022, but they would likely split the pro-Donald Trump vote. She would get the anti-Donald Trump vote. So the more people who run against her, the better off it is for her.